Okay. Star Atlas pre-alpha gameplay footage in Unreal Engine 5. I will say UE5 looks smooth AF. I'm telling you, it looks good, but it's a cinematic, right? So this is something we're accustomed to as gamers. First off, I want to tell you guys, do you remember back in the day, this reminds me of the Redeemer and Star Citizen coming into the space station when we were talking about the Imagine video. So there's a couple of things that I would like to talk about after this video is done here. The assets that they're putting into this cinematic do look good. The reflection, the lighting looks good. The physics looks smooth. This is again, I think more cinematic than, than gameplay. You're gonna see a lot of Scam Atlas the same way you saw Scam Citizen. There are so many similarities here. But listen. You're going to see it all over again, right? You're going to see it the same way the Star Citizen started out. And this is what I have to say about all this. It comes down to how many people are going to support it. It really comes down to belief. A lot of people say, dude, how can you have such an opinion? It's like really it comes down to like the two, two to three things. One, the amount of people that believe in it, right? Two, the amount of uh, that belief translating into revenue. OK, and three, the team behind it. Now, one and two happens very easily. You know, those things happen very easily. Three, which is the team behind it, is very important. Now, from what I've seen from the CEO, at the very least, the CEO looks like a dude. And we, we watch him on the channel here who's very uh, focused on the salesmanship of it. Not really that different than Chris, except that Chris has the background of, of, of programming and coding, whereas the CEO of Star Atlas does not. Some could say that's a positive thing, <laughs> you know, because a lot of times Chris will get involved into like the very minutia of everything and wants everything changed down to like the one little pixel that was green and he wants it blue. Right. And on the other hand of things, that's that could be a very bad thing. Again, it comes down to do they have the team to make this a reality? Right. They definitely have the support. You can see the amount of people that have invested in, or not invested, but like, well, yeah, invested in a way into the cryptocurrency of Star Atlas. Can't think of the name of it right now, but like <sighs> crazy amounts of people buying the tokens. Also crazy amount of people buying the NFTs, which support the game, very similar to pledges. So I'm not quite sure until more time has elapsed on this. I will say that seeing this in Unreal Engine 5, the cinematic at the very least, look pretty smooth, okay? If they can develop gameplay, actual real gameplay, you know, I'm not going to go fanboy mode on this, but if they can develop gameplay that looks as smooth as that cinematic was, I would say they might have something. Um, I saw the the initial cinematic trailer. I liked what I saw. I kind of like the lore behind it. I do. I am very involved in crypto. I'm very involved in that that world. Uh, I would definitely love to play a game where I can earn real life income from it. I mean, there's there's a lot of people that you can approach about this mindset that would say, well, this is. This is play to earn. This is a play to earn thing. And I can't stand play to earn. And yeah, that really, really comes down to the publisher. That really comes down to the developers. If they're going to have this mindset that they're the boss and they're going to come in like a triple A gaming uh, studio and they're going to like make it so that you have to grind for literally nothing, then yeah, that is the play to earn that I don't like. The play to earn that I do like that I think has a positive connotation is one where an economy is built that is like a free market economy inside a game. Game, and the currency fluctuates based upon real supply and demand with player to player kind of driven economics. This is a game where uh, it could be something like that. If it develops into something like that, I will definitely be behind Star Atlas. If it does not, I won't. And the other thing that I, that I have to really get into in order to get into Star Atlas is knowing that they got a team that knows what they're doing. Right. So could this be competition for Star Citizen? I don't know. 
in terms of the amount of support that I'm seeing right now for Star Atlas, uh, yeah, like there's a lot. There's a lot of support behind this in terms of revenue, in terms of money. But what about the team? So I'm still kind of holding my breath here uh, in anticipation for this. It could become a competitor. I do think that um, Star Citizen should at least have some type of crypto involved into the game. I think that's the way that we're going to see games go, whether you like it or not. I think that gaming will eventually uh, involve crypto in some sorts of the successful titles will. Because if you could have the ability to have fun, but you could also have the ability to have fun and earn an income while having fun, I don't see why people would say, nope, I don't want that. Although there are people like that right now, but it reminds me of the people that used to say, I want my blockbuster over Netflix. And you know how that goes. <laughs> you know how that goes. It's a matter of when, not if. And for people that think any differently, I'm sorry, I don't agree because it is a matter of when, not if. Will Star Atlas be it? I'm not quite sure. Warhead still wants his blockbuster. <laughs> I miss it too, bro. Trust me. I miss it too. I miss going there, walking around, looking at the different titles, and then seeing like the copy behind it, like one left, and grabbing that that up and being like, dude, I just got the last copy of this, and no other motherfuckers are gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> but like it's 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 something that's very polarizing when when you talk about this because people that uh, are involved with this community are very very much involved with star citizens so they get really upset if there's like an opposing view and they don't have open enough some people don't have open enough minds to realize that there will be a day where there is a competitor worthy of going up against star citizen and they don't understand it they don't want it uh, people are married to Star Citizen, and I can understand it. You know, I've been on this journey since 2015, but eventually there will be a competitor worthy of of hitting up against Star Citizen that will give you the ability to have an income and have fun at the same time. And uh, I don't know if it's going to be Star Atlas. I don't know. I really don't. But I'm going to follow it. I'm intrigued. It's piqued my interest. And I will continue to follow Star Atlas and I will continue to talk about Star Atlas. I want to see how it develops. I want to see the team. I want to see what they're capable of. But this, I'm not super excited about. I know a lot of people geeked out about this. I, I know a lot of people geeked out about the gameplay footage here. And they didn't understand that they were using assets in a cinematic format and using Unreal Engine to do so. Uh, but this by no means means this is gameplay. It's the same shit we saw back in the day with the Redeemer landing inside a Starbase in Star Citizen. And people were yelling back then, uh, you know, scam citizen, scam citizen, just the way you're seeing Scam Atlas here. So I see the similarities. I, I definitely see the similarities, right? And back then, people didn't think Star Citizen were, would get as far as it did now. And that be, that's because of three things. The belief of the people that are supporting the project, the amount of revenue that comes in from that belief, and the team behind it. Now, like I said with Star Atlas, you have one and two. You already have one and two. But do you have three? Do you have three? And really, right now, I don't think we have a three with Star Atlas. And like I said, I, I'm only getting this from the periphery. I'm only getting this from what I've seen from the CEO of Star Atlas. He, he talks a good game. He's a good salesman. He knows how to bring in revenue, but he doesn't know much in terms of at least what I believe to be game development, true game development, which you know, is, is <laughs> a lot of it when it comes down to like a game. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. We will see. We will see. And if they're if they're successful with this, it's it's also another step in the evolution of gaming. You know, it, it will be if they're successful at it.